is up all my supernatural people my name is larissa and welcome to the video today i want to talk about how i healed my period and my hormonal imbalances that i was really suffering with in the past and this is a huge topic for women because a lot of women out there have a lot of issues with their hormones and their periods and I just want to be here to help and just talk about my journey and what I've done to heal my issues. So it pretty much started, you know, when I hit puberty and I noticed like my acne was getting really bad. Um, acne is definitely a clear sign of issues going on inside the body. And it's definitely highly linked to diet and what we're putting into our bodies. Um, in case you didn't know, dairy is one of the worst things that you can put into your body for acne. And if you think about it on a hormonal level, dairy comes from breast milk, which is, you know, literally from a sex organ of a female cow. And it's filled with tons and tons of hormones, as well as growth hormones for, you know, because it's supposed to be baby cow food to help a baby cow grow into an adult cow. So it's got a lot of growth hormones in there as well. And when we're ingesting these animal hormones, especially from a different type of animal, this can really throw off our own hormones. So I myself, like many others, grew up consuming a lot of dairy and a lot of animal flesh as well, which also naturally contains animal hormones in the flesh, whether that animal is raised hormone free or not, meaning they're not injected with added growth hormones and stuff like that either way they're naturally gonna have naturally occurring hormones in their flesh because they are an animal and when we consume the flesh of other animals once again this can really throw off our natural hormones because we're ingesting hormones of other animals and I think that's a huge cause of a lot of issues especially thyroid issues that a lot of women deal with and their hormones getting out of balance and affecting their period so in my experience, acne was definitely the first sign of a lot of things going wrong in my body. But at the time, we really just thought that, oh, you know, I have acne, just like many other teenager teenagers do, and we should treat that, you know, with whatever the doctor tells us to do, which they actually put me on birth control because apparently that was supposed to help clear my skin. Now I'm putting in even more of these, you know, artificial hormones now and that's gonna throw off my hormones even more. So I was on birth control for years, about seven years, and this really just made things much worse. And the reason I eventually got off birth control is because I found out that it really, really increases your risk for breast cancer, which I do not want to expose myself to that risk. I wanna do what's best for my body, and I can't believe doctors are allowed to put young women on these birth control pills without, like, being very clear about the side effects like that. I was never told that it increased my risk for breast cancer until I did my own research as a young adult and decided to make the right decision for myself, which was to get off of the chemicals and just, you know, do things in the most natural way to heal my body and take care of my body and be safe when it comes to, you know, not getting pregnant and stuff like that, uh, you know, other reasons why people take birth control, even though I was put on it originally to help clear my skin, which it never did. When I did decide to get off birth control, this was during the very beginning of my health journey, you know, really trying to be healthier and I went vegan and just trying to do what was right for my body. And it was having a really great effect on my health, but I did encounter some bumps along the road while I was trying to figure out really how to heal and what was really going on within my body. And I ended up getting off birth control around the same time that I went vegan, actually. I was just in the learning process of figuring out how to eat properly. I kind of just started off eating pretty good. I was eating a lot of fruits and vegetables, but I was also having a lot of vegan junk food. And I wasn't completely aware at the time of the whole acid alkaline balance of, you know, trying to alkalize your body and get rid of the acid forming foods and eliminating things like uh, coffee and stuff like that for my life because at the time I was still consuming coffee and oils and just lots of junk food although I was still doing pretty well you know incorporating lots of fruits and vegetables but still putting those harmful foods into my body 
that was not allowing my body to heal and because for the first time since i was just getting off birth control my body was trying to regulate its own hormones for the first time in seven years i experienced for the first time these really weird symptoms with getting my period each month and it would start with on the first day of my period i would get really sick and i was just really surprised because like i said i i was trying you know my best to be healthy but i was still learning i would feel like nauseous and very tired and weak and dizzy and just like just sickly you know like i would be bedridden for the entire day the first day of my period and I would be bleeding very heavily and it was just all such a shock to me and I just kept reminding myself my body's just healing I was on birth control for so long I'm like you know eating a lot better and I think my body's just going through a lot of healing right now so I would just let myself rest and that was the only thing I could do that made me feel better but as I started experiencing this issue I got more serious about healing my body and I was like okay so i feel like every time i drink coffee it really triggers like every time whenever i'd be on my period and i would have coffee it would make my symptoms much worse lots and lots of pain and cramping and i would bleed much heavier which makes a lot of sense and i came to the conclusion that this has to be an acidity problem because coffee is very very acidic and anytime i would have it it would make me feel much much worse so at that time i got off caffeine and that really helped with healing my hormonal issue a lot because I was letting my body alkalize. I wasn't putting something acidic into it and getting in the way of that process. Because if you're trying to alkalize your body with fruits and vegetables and herbs and all that kind of stuff, but you're constantly putting something acidic in it, it's gonna always be getting in the way. So it's not just about putting alkaline fruits and vegetables into your body, it's also about not putting the acidic foods in your body because you can't alkalize if you're ingesting acidic foods like that's just how it works so on top of that is when i started transitioning more into raw foods because at the time i was eating maybe like 75 percent raw and still drinking caffeine so from there i just slowly kept transitioning more and more and more into completely raw you know 80% raw, 90% eventually to where I'm at now, which is eating pretty much completely raw on a daily basis. I just, you know, eat lots of fruits and vegetables and nuts and seeds. And that's been the only way that I've been able to heal this problem. And I noticed during that transition that every single month my period would get better and better over time. And now they're amazing where they're super light they usually only last like three days, which is insane because before, you know, when I was still on birth control and wasn't eating a raw vegan diet, um, my periods were about seven days or so and they were fairly normal, not anything super heavy, but definitely not light. And even though I didn't really experience these, you know, crazy, terrible, bad symptoms, um, before when I was on birth control and wasn't vegan, I don't think that that means I was healthier then because I was just suppressing symptoms through taking a pill and having this sort of artificial menstrual cycle and my hormones were completely reliant upon that pill that I was taking and it really threw things off within me and it was very it was a very unnatural thing to put my body through and I think it's so important that even though we might have to go through these tough healing journeys, I think it is well worth it to come out on the other end of things and actually have a healthy and healed body, not full of chemicals and not just increasing your risk for breast cancer and you know having a very acidic environment that invites things like disease and parasites into your body to thrive. Because when you alkalize your body, although you might have to go through you know, ups and downs with all the healing that your body is gonna go through, like the end result is always gonna be better than being on drugs and ignoring the real issues that are going on in your body. So I am fully grateful for, you know, the actions that I took and that I stuck with it and knew in my mind that I was healing and that it wasn't the raw foods fault that I was going through this intense healing process. It was the decisions I made in my past. It was being on pharmaceutical drugs and eating junk food in, the, in my past 
that caused the issues and I had to heal even if it was difficult. And I thank raw foods and nature for getting me through that process and allowing my body to do what it needed to do to get back to homeostasis. And that's where I'm at now. Now I have, you know, healthy hormones. I feel amazing and I don't have to worry about when I get my period on the first day that I'm gonna be sick and bedridden. And I also don't have to worry about, you know, my increased risk for breast cancer, which is a huge relief because that is a serious issue that most people have to worry about because of how they treat their bodies. So I just wanted to speak on this topic today because it's really important to me. And I actually had a really great conversation today actually with somebody on Instagram about you know hormonal imbalance so it inspired me to make this video so thank you um, and I hope this is helpful to all of you out there um, thank you so much for watching definitely check the link in the description below for my free ebook three secrets to supernatural health check me out on Instagram as well and I will see you guys next Friday for my next video have a great day bye